Good after morning. Is it after? No, it's not even afternoon yet. It seems like <laughs> when you're stuck in the house, it seems uh, time goes a little bit slower some days. I got all my stuff on the wall back there. I was going to talk about indecisiveness. <laughs> what would I write down? Uh, staying focused. Not me. I tend to go from one subject to another and I try to write stuff down, but that doesn't work. I was, you know, you can only do so much cleaning in the house, right? The house is clean. Eh, tired of it. I'm in the, back in the craft room, computer slash craft, whatever, trying to figure out something to do. I was invited to a baby shower for one of the neighbors I had um, when I lived in Parkville, Missouri. So her kids are all grown up. And her oldest daughter is having a baby. So they invited me to the baby shower, which was nice. <laughs> Now I get to get some baby stuff. Oh boy. Um, what am I going to say? See, I have things. I, I, have you ever, <clears throat> excuse me, have you ever went to go do something and you have something in mind and you go to get that thing that you need for what you're doing? And you can't find it. But you put it in a place so you could find it if you needed it. You know you have it in a place. It always seems like that one thing I need, I can't find it. It's there. But it's hiding from me. Maybe that's what it's doing. It's giving me um, something to do. Something to hunt for. I was... Um, my son had given me puzzles for Christmas, and I got one of them done. And the other one, it's 650 pieces, teeny tiny pieces. So I, I try to do that, and yeah, that's, it's not going to happen. Um, see, I have a note here. I don't even know what I'm talking about here. Yeah. The old Gray Mary, which she used to be, huh? Um, and speaking of writing, I know we were talking about <coughs> writing. <coughs> Good grief. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'll have some water. Water break. Um, handwriting. I write a list and I have to I have to be really careful writing because I can't read my writing. Later on I go look and say, What the heck is this? And that's Stacy was saying that how many people still use pencils? Me because I have to erase so I can write so I can read what I wrote. And half the pens, I tell you, I have pens around here. And I go to use a pen to write an address on an envelope or something. The, the ink doesn't work. I'm, you know, doing this to the pen and scraping it. Yeah, it's a cabin fever time. The snow, it's snowing out. And the snow is not good enough to, you know, make snowman out of, snow, excuse me, snow person, but it's pretty. I like big snowflakes falling down. <clears throat> so I'm over here, I think I was going to, I was thinking about just making a baby card, a new baby. Hello, bundle of baby if I could get creative. Instead, lately, I start doing something and I just go downstairs and start watching TV and just, uh, 
which isn't good. You got to keep busy, right? Got to keep going. Okay. Also, I have been making, going back on videos that I did when, from Texas to Colorado and shoot two years ago when we went to Europe. I've been trying to catch up on those and put them on YouTube when we were out with Bernie and Helen. So I need a haircut. I got the big old hair going. See, this is probably why I don't get on very often. <clears throat> Can't even think of things to say. And I have a, well, I don't talk all day to anybody. So maybe that's why I have the <clears throat> frog in my throat. <clears throat> what did one frog say to the other? <clears throat> I have a human in my throat. I have gone loony. All right. That's six minutes of your life. Hopefully this thing started recording when it was supposed to. Everybody have an awesome day and keep on tubing and cashing. No cashing today. All right. Tooly do, ta ta. Farewell, adieu. Bye.